Hello, awesome fourth graders. This is Ms. Marks. We're going to work on lesson 11, nested loops and maze. Break complex tasks into small, small repeatable sections. Recognize large repeated patterns as made from small repeated patterns. Identify the benefits of using loop structure instead of manual repeat. We've done this before. It's not difficult. You just need to stop, think, and take a breath. Uh, loop is doing the action over and over until infinity, or you tell it to stop and repeat to do something again one time. So if I'm doing nested loops here, the first one is the B. So here's my B, the first one. There's no flower there, so I'm just going to put the move forward. But then I have two more with flowers as well. So I'm going to put the move forward and get nectar in to the two blocks that are at the end, press run. Now I know some of you like the B noises, your family may not, please be kind with your volume. I'm gonna skip number two and go to number three with our video. Yes, you have to do number two. Remember, I only do some of them, I don't do all of them. Okay, so again, I know some of you like the B sound, some people don't. Uh, the prediction, you know I don't do those, you have to do that one on your own. That, if I give you the answer, then what's the point? Okay, so now I have the B, and he's making a square. So I have one, two, three in front of me. So I'm going to do this three times. I'm going to move forward. And I'm going to get nectar. And then I need to turn right. I want to see if I got that part right first, especially that turn. Okay. Now, if I look at my blocks, I only have one left. Remember, when you only have one block left, you have to nest. Pull it all out, put the loop in, put it all back in. And I have four sides on a square, since all four sides are there. Don't leave it at five. It's going to say that it's wrong. Reset run. And there you go. I'm going to skip six and go to seven. Um, get the zombie flower using the fewest bricks possible. So, I know I'm going to need a loop, and I need to move forward. One, two, three. And that should be a turn right because it's a mirror image. My left hand is there, but it looks like it should be turning right. Okay. Now, once again, I have one block left. Pull it all out. Put it in. And again, make sure you count the number of sides in order to get to where you need to be. I know some of you don't like the sound of this one either. Just turn your sound off when you do them. It can be a little creepy. I'm going to skip eight. I'm going to do nine. Because nine is more complicated than eight. But... Um, with number eight, remember that's a step. So just keep that in mind. Okay. So number one, I need a loop because all he's doing is moving forward. One, two, three, four. Four times and then turning left. Let's run that. Ooh, five times. See, everybody makes mistakes. Okay, um, 
This is the same length as this. This goes all the way down. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to nest this and do this three times. The reason I'm only doing it three times, this side here is not connecting. So it doesn't go all the way down. So it's not going to be the same length. Okay, so now I need a new loop. Here I'm only going one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm only going three times. Move forward. I only have, I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to put this one back in. And that's going to give me two times. Now my fraction is less than one whole. That should be, oh, nope, it's not fine because I do need to put that turn in there. Um, we're turning left. Mm -hmm. I forgot that part. And I'm going to do number 11 and then I'm going to stop. Now I said I was going to. Do number 11, which I think is also a challenge. Okay. So repeat, move forward. Now I only need to move forward one time, but I need that nectar four times. I have one, two, three, four, five flowers. Okay, so now I need another move forward. I need only one loop because I only need the loop for the um, making honey. Remember the honeycomb is making honey and he has a four. So my fraction is equal to one, eight out of eight. And there you go. Okay, enjoy your coding.